TikTok just launched a new ads media type. Now you can upload images of your products to create ads without the need of uploading video creatives. You can upload one image or multiple images that will be displayed as a carousel, similar to Facebook and Instagram image carousel ads. Hey guys, it's the Ecombo here and in this video I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the new TikTok image ads, how to set it up, when to use them, limitations and also recommendations to improve performance and get more conversions with these ads so let's get started in three two one yeah all right now before we start if you are a new tiktok advertiser make sure that you take advantage of the new advertiser incentives that tiktok for business is giving on the description of the video i'm gonna leave some links to different incentives that they are giving now this change all the time all right so i'm gonna keep the description links updated because you only get these incentives if you sign up up using one of their predetermined landing pages but I'm gonna keep that updated so you take advantage of it once you sign up and you have access to your TikTok ads manager you can start creating these image ads but let me show you something because I tested these image ads last week just to have an idea of how they perform how much is the cost per click the cost per thousand impressions just to see how it compares to other types of media in TikTok ads so here is the image ad test i can see that the cost per thousand impressions on this test okay this will be different for you for sure but on this test is ten dollars now comparing it to for example shop tab it costs 16 dollars this was basically the same audience okay it's a broad audience even we can compare it to this one test broad audience it was 13 dollars for every 1000 impressions of the ad ignore this one the rich campaigns rich campaigns are always cheaper but they don't really generate many conversions i'm only interested about conversions okay i don't care about video views i care about conversions but as you can see here the cost per thousand impressions on these image ads on this test was a little bit lower all right so you know that's something to keep in mind also the cost per click is way lower almost half the cost you see one dollar and 33 cents so you know this is important to know but of course you have to test it yourself to see how it performs for you and i didn't really optimize it because look i just put some images i just wanted to see how it was working so i just put some images here that i already had these are the images that i added and they will display as carousel you know not optimized at all but now let's go ahead and create some image ads so we have three kinds of image ads that we can create first we can create the standard carousel which allows advertisers to upload multiple images in a sequence as an in-feed creative that's alternative to video. We can also create video shopping ad carousels, which allows you to leverage your catalog images as creatives. And also you can use it to create product shopping ads, which will allow you to use your product detail page, images and information that you provide on your seller center for ad creatives with no additional content creation required. So let's go ahead and click on create ad. And as an advertising objective, we're gonna go for conversions, okay? So we're gonna choose website conversion. Now we're gonna click on continue, choose website so you can drive conversions to your website. And here you're gonna choose your pixel, choose your optimization event, complete payment because you're interested in sales, right? For placements, we can choose select placement and ignore Pango and global app bundle okay so we're only gonna advertise on tiktok but make sure that this is selected include search results because this will show your ads to users when they are searching for your business on tiktok okay just to make sure that you pop up there all the time now on the targeting section you can select the ages and gender i like to keep it pretty broad normally on ads however for image ads I think that the best way to utilize this is by using it as a retargeting campaign strategy. All right, so I already have here some retargeting campaigns that I created before. For example, this one will only show the ads to people that have viewed the product in the past 60 days. And it will also exclude the ones that purchase already. All right, so let's choose this one. 
And right now, you know, the audience is pretty narrow. There's only between 29,000 to 36,000. But these are people that have already seen my product. And the objective of these image ads is to remind the visitors that, hey, they were interested in this product because they saw the product page. But hey, now here's more information, you know, so you can make up your mind and finally buy it. So it's basically a second impression ad because for first impression, I still think that video ads are the way to go. No, people like to see the ad in real life. They want to see how it works, you know, people using it and, you know, a POV. So I think the strategy here will be to first show them a video ad and then retarget them with an image ad. Now, if you don't know how to create audiences, just know that it is under tools and audience manager. Here you can create audiences and lookalike audiences. So it's pretty powerful, but I already have a fully dedicated video on this that I'm gonna leave in the description of the video and also as the next video to watch when you finish watching this video. Now, if the size of your audience is extremely narrow, like it's happening to me, you can also click on smart audience because they will deliver ads outside of your audience selection if it is likely to improve performance. All right, so you won't get that audience fatigue so fast. So let's go ahead and select a budget. I'm gonna go with $50 per day and we're gonna go for the optimization goal of conversions. We're not gonna edit anything else. We're just gonna click on continue because I want to show you how to create these image ads. Now on the ad creation page, we're gonna set a custom identity, okay? If you don't have one, just click on create new custom identity and just put your brand name. And now here we can select single video or image or we can create carousel images. We're gonna go for carousel images. And here we can upload up to 35 images. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose some images here to put on the ad, but these images are a little bit plain, right? It doesn't have any text. And for carousel image ads, you do need some text, okay? Just to make it interesting. So I'm gonna jump into Photoshop and start editing these images a little bit just to make it quite a bit more interesting. Now, if you don't want to mess with Photoshop, you can also use this tool. It's called Placeit. And here, if you go to designs, social media, and then you choose Instagram stories, here you can basically upload your image and then it will basically mock it up and add text that you can then edit. You know, this will be very fast, you know, in case that you don't want to mess with Photoshop. Look, this one is pretty cool. 2018 autumn collection, new arrivals. You can change the text right here, you know, just put whatever, 2024, you know, autumn collection, change this image for your own image. And you know, it will be a very fast way of creating these image ads. I'm gonna leave the link in the description to this tool, okay? So you can find it easily. Now, I quickly made these images just for demonstration, but of course it needs better copywriting. So let's go ahead and click on upload images. And now we're just gonna drag the images in here. So we're gonna make sure that they fit correctly. All right, that's one. There's another one and there's our third one. So see, I made the image a little bit too wide. I should have looked at the aspect ratio before I made the images. But well, now you know, when you edit, use this aspect ratio. Now click on confirm and click on upload. And here's the preview of how it's gonna look. All right, so five most sexy gym outfits, number one, next outfit, number two. Of course, the text should have been, you know, in here, better center. That was my mistake. But you know, and then you continue, you know, putting all your styles. Now, something super important is that you have to add music, all right? Nobody wants to see something without music on a platform where everything is video and audio, and then suddenly something with no audio, that's gonna, you know, people are gonna swipe away. So, you know, choose a song that properly matches what you're trying to convey and click on confirm, all right? I'm not gonna play any songs because of the YouTube copyright strikes and stuff, but you get the idea. Now here, smart cover image selection is on. So basically what this will do is put as the first image, 
whatever TikTok thing will perform best. You know, it's gonna start testing and find out the best image. Now for this specific image ad, I want this image to be the first one. So I'm gonna have to deactivate this, all right? So, because I want this to be the first one and then subsequently all the other images. Now you can add some text. Check out the hottest outfits for summer 2024, for example, then you select a call to action. You can leave it automatic, so it will basically try different things and see which one performs best and then it will use that one more. Or you can just go ahead and choose only one, like shop here or purchase it now. All right, I think purchase it now is pretty powerful because you know they see the outfit that they like and then they just click on purchase and they go to your website to finish the transaction. Here you will put your URL, okay, the URL of your website, and then you can click on preview just to check out that you actually use the correct, you know, page. Now you can also create an instant page, all right? So you will basically put images and text and whenever they click on the call to action button, it will just display an instant page with your images and, you know, your text. But use this if your website is not optimized, you know, it doesn't load fast and, you know, it's not a good sales page. Otherwise, just use your URL. And that's pretty much it. Then you just click on publish all, wait for your ads to get approved and then see how they convert. Now, I would like to talk about the limitations of image ads, okay? And things that I would love if they added them. So, for example, here, each image, I would like it to have its own URL. Because in this case, you know, if they click here, I want them to go to the collections page. But if they click on this image, I would like to go directly to the product page of this product. Remember that when you direct people from a call to action on an ad directly to the product page, it tends to convert better than if you just direct them to the home page of your website or to a catalog page. Because when people have a lot of options, sometimes they cannot make a decision. But if they already saw this and they like it, they can go ahead and buy it right away if they just click and go to the product page with the big buy now button. And another feature that I think will be killer is if you can add on top of images, you could add videos. So for example, this will be an image, but then this one will be a video. So I could have this girl here just rotating, showing the actual outfit. And then when people get tired of seeing that outfit, they can just swipe and then see another video. All right, or maybe, you know, maybe it's not possible to have so many videos, but what about just one image, another image, another image, and then at the end, the video of all the styles, you know, as an actual video just showing from all the angles. You know, that would be pretty cool. On Facebook carousel ads, you can actually have images and then you can also have a video. So, you know, Maybe TikTok ads will add that feature. I think it will be really good and it will help with conversions. And as a matter of fact, TikTok is actually making some improvements to image ads. One click optimization shows such precise resolution improvement and color enhancement. They also will add advanced AI editors such as template generation, background generation and selling point generation and also image generation, where you will be able to generate an image based on history image, URL assets, app, etc. All right, so they are gonna be improving this tool. So guys, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. If you like this video and got some value out of it, please like it and also consider subscribing for more content like this. Now watch this video because I teach you how to create custom audiences, all right? And that's a lot of value in there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm out.